And Amber, you can bet party leaders in Washington will be watching closely tonight in a 50-50 Senate. Republicans and Democrats counting on Bud or Beasley to push the Senate in their favor. But first, they've got to win over voters tonight. Tonight, after months and millions spent on TV ads. I'm Sherry Beasley. I'm Ted Budd, and I'm running for Senate. Republican Ted Budd and Democrat Sherry Beasley finally go face to face. It's the only scheduled debate in the race to fill North Carolina's soon to be vacant U.S. Senate seat, party control in the chamber hanging in the balance, and the race is a dead heat. This race just doesn't get any tighter. It doesn't, and that's why this debate is important. Meredith College political science professor David McLennan gaming out the race for us. The latest polling from 538 well within the margin of error, Bud leading Beasley by just seven-tenths of a point. When you have a race like that, with how important this race is to perhaps the control of the U.S. Senate, even a debate that's watched by a relatively small number of people is important. McLennan expects Bud to hit Beasley on the economy, tying her to President Biden's low North Carolina approval rating and economic anxieties. The newest ABC News poll points to 74 percent of Americans who think the economy is in bad shape. He's predicting Beasley will challenge Bud on abortion rights, pinning Bud to his bill in the U.S. House banning abortions nationwide after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The latest Meredith poll shows just over 10 percent of North Carolinians support the ban. What does each of these candidates need to do at this debate tonight? I think they need to communicate a vision. It's not just about attack ads and about talking points. It's where are North Carolinians going to be two years from now. Is there a chance that what happens tonight could be what breaks this race? We know that North Carolina is going to be a very close race, a percentage point or two or three. An opportunity for people to see them side by side could swing enough voters to swing it one way or the other. So tonight will be the first time Bud or Beasley has debated anyone since the start of their Senate campaigns. Compare that to two years ago. By this point on the calendar, Tom Tillis and Cal Cunningham had debated three times. We'll have highlights from the Bud Beasley debate tonight at 11. Amber, Steve.